at panhandle.com. Well, today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and the city of Lynn Haven is holding an event in honor of the holiday. Yeah, Tess Rowland is live up at Sharon Sheffield Park in Lynn Haven. It has all the details for us. Good morning, Tess. Good morning, Chris and Aaron. Yes, the event will be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. today right here at Sharon Sheffield Park. I'm joined this morning by Mr. Tony Bostick and the Heinz brothers that have put this on uh, for quite some time. So what can people expect if they do come out to this event today? A lot of warm food, a lot of fun, and a lot of activities for everyone. Come out and join us, please. All right, and why is it so important to continue to honor Dr. King in the years later after his passing? Dr. King died for the disenfranchised. And we have a celebration here today to commemorate that. We have full entertainment schedule, so we have a good time. All right, and I have Mr. Bostic here as well. So there's also going to be, you know, some vaccines available um, as well. Do you mind telling the people about that? Yes, uh, we'll be here from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. for vaccinations, and we'll be here at the same hours for uh, uh, COVID testing. And in the spirit of Dr. King, and as uh, Mr. Myron Hines would say, do a, a neighbor a favor. Uh, we teamed up, uh, Lee Coalition has teamed up with Health Heroes of Florida and the Bay County Health Department to provide vaccinations and COVID testing uh, during the middle of this pandemic. Yeah, definitely something to get there as well. Those COVID tests have been hard to come by. And you guys have been doing this event for how many years? 34. 34. So, you know, how does it feel to be able to continually come out here? I understand that you traditionally do it in Panama City. This year you've changed it to Lynn Haven. This is our third year in Lynn Haven. Uh, the Lynn Haven community is welcoming, they, they open arms for us and they want us here, so we, we stayed here. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. I understand it's a little bit chilly, but again, the kids are off. So what a better way to spend the day than honoring Dr. King and his legacy and enjoying some food and fun. So for now, reporting live in Lynn Haven this morning, Tess Roland, News 13, Panhandle Strong. And Kristen, you definitely want that jacket. I'm shaking. It's a little bit cold out here. <laughs> Yeah, Tess is the real MVP for being outside in the cold distance.